Hello everybody. Today is August 16th, 2016 and um, this is the third day of my fast that the Most High told me to go on. It's an eight-day eight, eight day fast. No food or no drink. However, I do take in water. I wanted to um, just kind of give people an update on how things are going. Uh, and then I decided I'm going to kind of make a diary to kind of follow me along. So what I did this morning when I got up is I recorded my blood pressure. And my blood pressure is 115 over 79. And my weight is 147 pounds. <laughs> So maybe that's why I need to go on a fast. But anyway, so what I'm going to be doing is recording my weight and my blood pressure. Now, my blood pressure is, uh, as I said, 115 over 79. Now, when I was much younger, you know, around 40-ish or so, uh, my blood pressure was always very low. In fact, uh, 100 over 60 was my normal blood pressure. And I remember a doctor telling me, don't worry about it. <laughs> Just don't get up too quick. And with that kind of blood pressure, you'll live a long life. But as I have gotten older, I know that my blood pressure um, has gotten a bit higher. And I would range something like 125 over 85 or something like that. But this 115 over 79... Uh, it's a little bit closer to the way I used to be uh, a few years ago. But anyway, I'm doing fine. I'm not um, not really just struggling with hunger at all. The Most High is uh, 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 actually giving me the strength to get through this. I'm praying and hoping that He will give me some very special revelations during this time. Um, the purpose of the prayer, uh, prayer and fasting, of course, is for the deliverance of Israel. You know, we've been going through a lot lately. And many of my people are just waking up and learning who they are. But this waking up has been very, very bitter in a sense. It kind of reminds me of what's in uh, Revelation chapter 10, I believe it is, where it talks about John when John was told to eat the book. And it was sweet in his mouth but so bitter in his belly. And I kind of relate this experience, waking up, finding that you are an Israelite. I kind of relate that to that because it is sweet to wake up and to find out that you are an Israelite. You are the people of the Bible. It is sweet, but it becomes very bitter when you see that so many of your friends and families don't accept it. In fact, the world doesn't accept it. So in, in that sense, it's been very bitter and it's been a struggle, you know. Uh, I've heard it say that this being an Israelite is not an easy walk. And I agree, it isn't an easy walk. The Most High told me that I was an Israelite in 19, excuse me, in 2010. And it was the most sweetest thing that I had ever heard because I... I had no idea that I was an Israelite until he told me. And so I praise the Most High for that. And it's been a, a blessing for me to be able to, to share this with my family and everybody else. And I did that. And I told them, I said, oh my goodness, you know, we're Israelites. But even my family, they don't believe it. They don't even accept it. And so in that sense, it's been very bitter. It's been a struggle and a, and a difficult walk, but it has been such a blessing. The Most High has been with me every moment, and I just feel like, you know, I can just talk to him, and, and he gives me an answer, and uh, trust me, be careful what you pray for, because uh, I have found that when I pray, he answers my prayer. And when he answers my prayer, it's not the way I think it's going to be answered. 
And so when I was praying so diligently for Israel and the deliverance of Israel, and I believe that's when he came back and told me to fast and pray. Fast and pray. Fast and pray for eight days. No drink or no food. And that took me for a loop because I've never fasted for more than three days. Three days, um, and in that case, um, I did no food. And I did no food and water for the first day and then no food for the rest of the two days. And it wasn't easy. <laughs> it was not easy. But, you know, this is a commandment that he has given me, and this is what I'm going to do with his help, and I know I can get through it. So, no food and water for eight days. And that's the journey that, I on, that I'm on, so I'm going to try to record I'm not going to say every day, but at least high points. So this is the third day. So I wanted to kind of give you an update to let you know that I'm going and then to encourage everyone to please pray with me. I'm not going to ask you to fast because the Most High hasn't asked you to fast. But I think we all should be fasting. But please go to him and ask him what would he have you to do. And if he tells you to fast and pray then you need to fast and pray because these are very, very difficult times for us. I'm going to continue my fast with his help and with his power. I know that I will get through it, so I'm not doubting that at all. So I thought I would uh, just take this time to uh, kind of do a little diary, a little bit update, and I'm going to kind of, again, record probably uh, at least a couple more times to kind of give you an update on how I'm doing. And all my sisters, I said, uh, I need your recipes. How can you fix water? <laughs> uh, I'm having ice. I'm having warm water. Room temperature water. Ice. And cold water. So if you have any other recipes for how you can prepare what water, let me know. Praise the Lord. I look forward to talking to you again. And by all means, Israel. By all means, brothers and sisters. Israel and those who have not accepted their Israel and all of my brothers and sisters, Gentiles, we need to pray because these are very, very difficult times. Shalom.